Today we're going to look into one-legged pigeon and one-legged royal pigeon. In Sanskrit, ikapada kopotasana, ikapada raja kopotasana. So let's break down the Sanskrit real quick. Ikka pada, ikka is one, pada is leg or foot, in this case leg. Kapot is pigeon. So ikka pada kopotasana and royal raja. Raja means royal or king. So this is shared by many different styles of yoga. I recently did a video on explaining the different styles of yoga. Check that out after you watch this one. Bishnagosha and Bikram does the more advanced version. Here's a clip of me doing it back in the 80s. This is so long ago that I forgot I was even able to do this pose. But the one-legged version, which is definitely accessible to most people, I continue to do in the Barking Method Hot Yoga and the Barking Method Vinyasa class. So let's head to the studio with Barking Teacher Cat, who recently earned her 300-hour Barking certificate. If you're interested in becoming a 200, 300, 500-hour Barking Method Hot Yoga teacher, I put links in the description below. Check out those links. So let's head over to the studio with Cat and let's look at one-legged pigeon. We're going to look at pigeon first. We're going to look at the modification. So in downward dog, she's going to sweep this guy with the right leg, swing it through, point the knee to the right corner of the mat. Your right foot's going to come pretty close to the hip. As you're more advanced, you can let it go out further. So here's the modification, especially if you have really tight hips. Take a block. You can also use a towel. Put it right underneath the buttocks cheek. Now, if I were to have Kat put her head to the ground now, she's going to be so out of sync because her hips and her back and her head are going to be out of line. So take a block for your head. Put your head on that block and now you're even. Breathe into the stretch, soften, and that's the perfect modification for pigeon or ikapada kopotasana. Now, if you don't need the block, obviously we don't use it, so we'll take the block out of the way. And down cat goes. Into the pose. Hips are nice and even. Left leg extends back behind her, and all you're gonna do, you're gonna close your eyes and we're gonna enter what we call pratyahara, to withdraw from the senses. Long exhaling breath. Don't think of this posture as a posture to perfect the asana. Think of it more of as an experience, more of the spiritual emotional side, the mental side, or raja yoga. Now we magically turn to face you, you can see the, the position of the foot. So most of us are gonna have this right foot back by the hip. But as you get more advanced, you can bring that foot a little more forward so you can parallel this knee. If you get super advanced, you can bring the foot all the way forward, even past the knee. This is more advanced, and now cat goes down into the position. Ikapadakopadasana. That's a little bit more advanced for the one-legged. Welcome back to my house. Now we're going to look at one-legged royal pigeon, or one-legged what we call full pigeon. Now, different styles of yoga have different names sometimes from different poses or the same pose with a different name. Check out this video I did a while ago after you watch this one. Chris Macharians, a Yangar, Ashtanga, Vini Yoga, they call this posture full pigeon. What we call full pigeon is what I'm about to show you. So let's head back over to the studio with Bark and Teacher Cat. Now this is not just a back bending posture, but also shoulder rotation. It takes a lot of shoulder rotation to work that those arms around and grab that foot. So let's not waste any time and let's go look at Cat. Now we magically turn back this direction so you can see the full version of what we call Ikapada Raja Kopotasana, or what we call full pigeon, a royal pigeon. So watch their hand position. She's gonna bring her palm forward here, and now she's gonna bring it back. Now forward again, back. You can see the, you're also helping the rotation of the shoulder. One more time, forward again, back. Now she's gonna bend her knee, and she's gonna flex the foot and hold the foot from the inside. So watch this position again. Go back again to the front. Flexing the foot, grab from the outside, but the foot is flexed. Grabbing from the outside. And from there, she rotates her arm through with the left arm coming around at the same time. Grabs the foot with both hands, head back, and touches her foot to her head. That full rotation of the shoulders is the key.
And then most people that do this pose, they have the tendency to shift from one side to the other. 90% of the people do that, so you have to almost assume that you're shifting and then move your body back in the other direction. I'll show you what I mean. So I'm gonna have Kat go into the full position. She rotates, her head is back, and you can see how her body shifted to the right. So we're gonna shift her back to the left to get her nice and even and symmetric. Just assume you're shifting to the right, bring yourself back a little bit over to the left, continue to lift your chest. And the final move, the elbows come together. And there is the full pigeon. Little applause for Kat, because that's a tough one. Welcome back to my house once again. Let's give Kat a round of applause. She definitely has that wonderful back bend and that shoulder rotation to go into that advanced version. You can also use a strap to wrap around your, your toe. We didn't do that. We didn't demonstrate that video. Maybe we'll do that another time. That's another way of working to get that foot by using a strap. We used to, in the old days, we used to cut pillowcases and we'd have this cloth, this sheet, and we'd tap tight around our big toe. We'd be able to get our arms and our legs around behind. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Smash the like button if you enjoyed this video and leave any comments, any questions that you have, put them down below. I get to all the comments and I'll see you at the next video. Bye guys.